In, a video In today's are... video, I'll show you one of the best functions of DaVinci Resolve, the Surface Tracker. With this powerful tool, you'll be able to make your images, videos, and texts follow the movement of any surface. Surfaces such as skin, cloth, or plastic. Cool, right? Let's see how it's done. In this example, we'll add an image in this cat's tummy, right above here. To begin, we must place the playhead on top of the video clip and go to the DaVinci Resolve color module. Great. Once inside the color module with our video, we have to go to the effects panel located in the upper right. Click to open the menu, and then we scroll down to the Resolve FX Transform section. We must look for the effect Surface Tracker. Or to save time, we can directly write the name of the effect in the search engine. So only the Surface Tracker effect will appear. We click on the effect and drag it on top of the node panel. We must drop the effect on the node panel, don't drop it on a node. In this way, we will create a node with OFX inputs. Do you see that we've created a node with two green and two blue inputs? Later, we will need this. All right, now we need to connect the node to the surface tracker effect. We connect the first node with the second and the second with the output. It's that easy. Next, we select the node with the surface tracker effect and we look for a frame of the video where the entire belly of the cat can be appreciated. For example, this frame would go well. With the node selected, we place the mouse cursor over the viewer and left click. We left click and create the area in which we want to track the surface to later add our image or logo. Perfect. I already have the area that I want to track finished. Now, if we go to the mesh section and click, we see that a lot of triangles appear in the area that we have created. These triangles will be in charge of tracking all the movement and changes that occur in the cat's skin when walking. We can increase or decrease the number of triangles in the option of point number limit. For surfaces with a lot of complexity and fluctuations, increasing the max points can improve results, but it will also increase the processing time, as DaVinci Resolve will have to track more points. I'm going to increase to the maximum, 200 points. We see that indeed, many triangles have appeared on the surface. In this cat video, it's not necessary to have so many points, 50 would be enough. We can also modify the spacing between points to further conform to the shapes of the surface we're going to track. These parameters depend a lot on the surface you're going to track. So that it's understood, the movement that this cat skin makes is not the same as the movement of a plastic bag. They are totally different surfaces. I'm going to leave the parameters that come by default, and now it's time to track the surface. To start tracking, click on the tab Track. The tracking menu will open. In order for it to track the entire video, we must click on this icon with the two arrows. This way, it will track the video forwards and backwards. In the quality option, I recommend changing from faster speed to better quality. All set. Now we must click on this icon with the two arrows so that DaVinci Resolve begins to trace the surface that we've created on top of the cat. If we look closely, we will see how the red triangles change their shape and adapt to the movement of the cat's skin when walking. That's the trick. This is what will later modify the shape of the image, video, or text we put on the cat. We wait for it to finish, and that's it. Now, if we play the video, we see how the red zone actually adapts to the changes on the surface. It seems as if we had stuck a spider web on the cat. Okay, now we can add any image or logo to the moving surface. I'm going to add a logo with transparency in .png format with the DaVinci Resolve logo. We select the image we want to add and drag it to the nodes panel like this. Perfect. We already have the node with the image of the DaVinci logo. To connect it to the surface tracker effect, we just have to click on this green square and connect it to the input of the node with the effect. We connect it to this green triangle. We can see that the DaVinci Resolve logo has appeared, but the size does not match. It's too big. To adjust the size of the image, 
we have to go to the tab Result. We click. We display the option of Overlay Placement. And now simply in the section Positioning, we change the mode Interactive Dash Canvas by Mode Sliders. Perfect. As we can see, a new option has appeared. Canvas Position Sliders with a lot of new parameters. We can modify the position of the logo, the size, or rotation in a super simple way. But if I decrease the zoom, we may run into a problem. We see that the image appears cut off. Don't worry, this has a very easy solution. If the image appears cut off like me, now I'll show you how to fix it. If the image appears correctly, you can skip this step. The first step is to go to the editing module of DaVinci Resolve. Then look for the timeline in which we're editing. For example, I'm editing in the timeline, Timeline 1. If you don't know which timeline you're editing on, you can check by going to Timeline View Options and turning on Stacked Timelines. Up here will tell you which timeline you're in now. Perfect. Let's go to the timeline in the Media Pool and right-click. Timelines. Timeline Settings, we click. When you enter this menu for the first time, you will not be able to change any parameter. Before, you must uncheck the box, Use Project Settings. Now in the option, Mismatched Resolution, maybe you have enabled Scale Full Frame with Crop. We must select Scale Entire Image to Fit. And we do exactly the same in the Output section. We select the option of Scale Entire Image to Fit. We press OK. Now the image scale will appear correctly with a black background. To remove the black background from the image, we go back to the DaVinci Resolve Color Module. I adjust the zoom of the image to make it as big as possible, and I place the logo to my liking. Perfect! We're going to remove that black background. Removing it is super simple. In the Logo Image node, this one here, we have to select the first blue square, like this, and join it with this blue arrow. And goodbye black background, it's that easy. In this way, we would already have our image on the surface. Then I will show you how to add a video and a text, since it's done in a different way. Now, let's see how it turned out. We see that the logo is on top of the cat as if it were a sticker. Cool, right? If you want the image to be more realistic, you can change the opacity mode, click on the node with the surface tracker effect, and display the compositing section. Here, we can change the composite mode or decrease the opacity of the image. You can lower the opacity of the image to show the texture of the cat's hair, or you can choose an opacity mode such as overlay. The logo will appear darker, but will be much more realistic. Now that we've covered adding images, let me show you how to insert a video and add text. Adding text requires a different approach, so it's crucial to understand the process. Let's dive into it. To add a video, we disconnect the image node, and I'm going to add, for example, the same video of a cat. Thus, we will create a kind of Teletubby cat. We import the video by dragging it to the nodes panel, and we connect the green square of the node with the green arrow of the node with the surface tracking effect. And that's it. We already have the video incorporated into the surface. Now we adjust the size by modifying the zoom and finished. We already have our cat inside our cat. All right, now let's see how you can add a text. Adding a text is a bit more complicated. Once we have the surface tracking done, as it appears on the screen, the next step will be to go to the Fusion module, clicking on this magic wand icon. Well, now we're in Fusion. We forgot about the Median 1 and Media Out 1 nodes since we're not going to use them. The first thing we're going to do is create a text node by clicking on this icon right here. We click. We already have the text node. Now, having the text node selected, we will add a new node background. We click. In this way, we will automatically join the text node with the background node using a merge node. Well, this is the structure of nodes that we must have. 
Next, we select the background one node and we open the inspector panel. In the background one node configuration, we will decrease the alpha option to the minimum, to 0.0. In this way, we will have a complete transparent background and prevent text from appearing with a black background. Next, we select the text node and in the text options, we write the text we want. For example, I'm going to put kittens. In order to see the text in the viewer, we have to have the second circle activated in the text node so we can visualize the text to be able to customize it. Great. Now choose the font you want, change the color, size. In short, configure the text to your liking. Once we finish customizing the text, we have the last step. We select the node of Merge 1, clicking on it. Press the keyboard shortcut, Control, Space, so that the effects browser appears. In the search engine, write Media Out and add the Media Out node. It is mandatory to add the Media Out node. Otherwise, you will not be able to see or use the text. So remember to add it and have it connected. Perfect. We have finished our text. Now we can go back to DaVinci Resolve's color module. Once in the color module, we right click on the nodes panel and select add source. When activating this option, another green circle will appear on the left side. We click on the green circle and connect it with the green arrow of the node surface tracker. Our text will appear on the surface. To be able to eliminate that black background, we also have to connect the alpha input. That is, we click on this green circle and connect it with this blue arrow. That simple. We see that the text has become a bit small. If you want, you can modify the size of the text returning to the Fusion module. We select the text node and increase the size. Now, our text and our cat have been perfect. Been I hope this video has been helpful to you. As always, here I leave you with the free DaVinci Resolve course, so you can learn a lot of new things. And nothing else. See you in the next video.